right guys welcome to another episode today I'm just doing a short late afternoon early evening trip it's a 20 to 5 we have south winds complete overcast so I could not resist it is the weekend before Labor Day last week August um, I recently discovered that there's warm mouth in this lake thanks to that fish brain app which I don't typically use but I was on there just kind of messing around so I'm gonna see if I can catch a warm mouth out of this lake and just how big they are I've only fished this lake for pickerel I've never fished it for panfish it also has shell crackers and bluegill so I'm gonna fish for bass and pickerel for about 30 minutes and see if they're biting but then I'm gonna use red wigglers and try to catch some of these warm mouth in here hoping that they're of decent size at least seven or eight inches there's not anybody else here there was supposed to be 10 to 15 mile an hour winds from the south well there's absolutely none so i don't know what's going on there but i'm going to try to get me a chain pickerel or bass here for a few minutes and then we're going to try for some warm mouth later on well, let's see what happens guys it does make sense now because this uh, lake is very weedy so I kind of see there being warm out all right guys I got my first panfish it has been sprinkling so I've had the camera off nice male bull bluegill beautiful now I just need to get a warm mouth and a red ear just to know they're in here I have no proof yet but I'm pretty sure there is by the just by looking at it I can tell I gotta get the special pliers for him I think I got him in here somewhere yep there they are the panfish pliers is what I call them I forgot the real name of them that's not a bad bluegill at all not bad little above average size anyway and it quit raining finally after 30 straight minutes that is a really dandy bluegill actually <clears throat> all right we got one kind out of three and it's a decent one hopefully i can get me a warm mouth and a red here now that is a dandy of a bluegill, guys. Not a bad one. I'll take him coming towards me big time oh man this is not a bluegill I don't think yeah I get no I don't know what this is if it is it's a giant what in the world do I have oh my god it's a red ear and it's a big one oh there's my answer they're in here and they're big wow once again guys I'm having whoa he's yeah he's decent sized man that is 10 inches wowzers guys whoa heck yeah unfortunately i gotta cut the hook because of him but that is a nice red ear man wow he put up a fight i did not know that's what that was actually now I just gotta get warm mouth. I got two of the three already. That's a big old red ear. Really nice red ear. Wow. Hopefully they get even bigger than this. I mean, that's a decent size. He's awful, awful thick for his size. He's really thick and girthy. Beautiful female red ear, guys. Yeah. 
Heck yeah, man. Here we go. Got something playing with it. Got him. Oh yeah. It's something pretty damn nice too. Now they're red ear. Oh my god, this is a really nice average in here. They're all like this, man. Holy cow, man. Another jumbo red ear. These these average ten and a half so far. Of the two I've caught, they've both been ten and a half inches. Oh my gosh! Another female too, which means they have the orange ear flap. I cannot believe both of them I caught have been this size. Now if I can just get a bigger one, that's about twelve. These are eating size guys. Now for you southern folks, it ain't nothing I know, but I live in Missouri. There ain't very many places with big red ears, unless it's private. They just don't grow that big here. I'm on the very northern. I live at the very beginning of where they start. The very beginning, the first county where red ears are naturally present. That is a beautiful red ear, man. Got him. Oh yeah, it's a big one. It's another big one. A decent fish. I think we got a regular bluegill again. My God, these are gorgeous bluegill in here. Wow. Holy cow, these are big. Yep, I just found my number one panfish lake as far as distance to the house. 45 minutes away. Got some true beauties in here. At least bluegill and red here so far. Still have not gotten a war mouth. But maybe I will. Just look at the dark orange belly on that thing. I cannot believe how orange he is, man. It's this gin clear water just makes him absolutely gorgeous. That is a beautiful male bluegill if I've ever seen one. Really impressive average in here, guys. Really impressed. Small one. This, oh, maybe it's not. No, he just wasn't fighting yet. <sighs> oh, he swallowed the hook because I didn't know he was on there. I hate when they bite like that, when they sit there and eat it and swallow it and never pull the line. Not a bad one. There we go, I got him. Oh, it's a big one. 
This is a nice fish, guys. It's a panfish, but he's big. Oh, it's a bass. That explains why. Oh, my. Boy, I thought I had a big old red ear, man. Largemouth bass on a red wiggler. He had me fooled. I thought I really had a panfish. Oh well, different kind anyway. Panfish. Wait a minute. No, it's a big red ear. Oh my god. Had no idea he was even on there, guys. Swallowed the hook, of course. Another female. What's the deal? Three all three red ears have been female. He's pushing eleven and a half inches though. Gotta cut the hook again. Had no idea he was on there. I was just going to scoop my worm. And he bit it. Boy, these fish in here are thick, man. I don't know what the deal is. They're really girthy in here. They are definitely not starving. female red here again average ten and a half inches that is not bad God. this is a big fish guys wow or he's just fighting real hard whoa finally a male swallowed the hook it is a male find my first male out of four red ears no, it's not. It's a female again. Maybe the males are just in a different spot. That's weird, man. All four red ears have been female. I'm going to try to get this one. It's not going to be easy. Even with the special pliers here. Another 10 and a half, 11 inch, now 10, that's about 10. Female red ear, no males. Out of four fish, all have been female. Don't know what the story is there. Good Lord, I'm going to stink, man. God, he finned me like six times in the hand. Ouch. 
goodness gracious. Not too bad. Not big as some of them I've caught today, but he's up there. Another male bluegill, very beautiful. He just ain't got that orange. No, that is a female. That purple on it was the dead giveaway. Instead of an orange belly, it looked like a male at first. That was just a big female. Oh my! Big one. This is fighting a lot harder anyway. Oh yeah, this may be a red ear. Sure is. Can we have our first male yet? Ah, uh, looks orange again. It is a female again. Five red ears, five females. What is the deal there? They're carrying on their average though, every one. Ten and a half inches. My goodness. Every single one has been ten and a half inches. So I'm not going to complain. They're a really perfect size, actually. I mean, I wish I could get something bigger, though, but I ain't going to complain. My goodness. That ain't a bad red ear at all. They're decent feeling fish. Regular bluegill again. And he's on the better side like the ones I was getting at the beginning. And that is a male. That's probably seven inches. Bad at all. Absolutely gorgeous day out here. We needed a cooler day with a little rain. Absolutely gorgeous.